we have in Luxembourg a, a kind of dynamic ecosystem uh, around finance in general and uh, sustainable finance in particular. But where we can do more than other countries is that we have a financial center that is really of international relevance. If we can leverage uh, the ecosystem of our financial center to reduce emissions worldwide, well then our contribution to uh, climate change will be huge. Only if we work together, finance sector, environmentalists, and also work for human rights. So if we have a holistic approach, and if we understand each other, we will really do um, this shift that we really need in order to create a more sustainable uh, world. My hope is that uh, at the end of the journey, we will no longer talk about sustainable finance, because all finance will be sustainable by default. Luxembourg is a hub where different types of actors come together. And we have a supportive government, regulators, and the puzzles of finance sort of for this sustainable and innovative space come together here. Public money alone won't do it. We need an interaction of private investment and public investment to reach the goal. The financial sector, insurance companies and banks are realizing that it is not only in their best interest to foster such products uh, in the future, but it is an existential thing because once the demand for such products becomes overwhelming, well, you better deliver what the public wants. Uh, and if we do the calculation right and look at the return on investment by integrating the impact on environment and on climate change, we will need lots of new products. During the last years, we launched quite a lot of initiatives. Together with the European Investment Bank, for instance, we created an international finance platform where the government takes the guarantee of the first loss. And secondly, we created uh, new funds, for instance, the Forestry and Climate Change Fund. A third, an international climate finance accelerator, something for young finance managers. The Financial Center of Luxembourg, which is specialized in cross-border services, is very well equipped to uh, invent new tools that are less risky, that have a good return on investment, and at the same time uh, fulfill the, the goals of the Paris Accord on climate change, and I would say even in a larger sense, the sustainable development goals of the United Nations. We are promoting critical infrastructure, um, support for SMEs, environmental projects and other projects that uh, produce uh, sustainable growth in Europe. On the one hand side, we issue green bonds to get investors interested and then have a product for institutional investors. And on the other side, we're really trying to find um, investment or so financing situations where we can mobilize private finance on top or in addition to, to public finance. We call this blending. In very simple terms, what the Luxembourg uh, Climate Finance Platform does, it provides first loss funding to smaller investment funds located here in Luxembourg. So it's high risk capital that they're putting into a fund in order to demonstrate certain investment strategies or help um, very impactful fund managers to, to raise the necessary funding from the private sector. And the first loss funding really serves as a risk buffer, often for perceived risk, sometimes also real risk, in order to entice other investors to say, I would not necessarily invest maybe in these geographies and these sectors, but with some additional risk protection, I'm actually risking it. The Forestry and Climate Change Fund is an impact fund to address the trend of ongoing deforestation in the tropics and it finances smallholder and communities to allow them to better manage the forests they have under control. We are seeing that about 15% of global climate emissions come from deforestation mainly and forest degradation. At the same time, we see a lot of activities where we try to plant trees, but we believe you need to address the problem at its core. We are finding when you go into this sector, banks are usually very reluctant to lend to individuals who own forests. 
It needs to be adapted to the cycle of the forests, but it can uh, be a very strong enabling role in making that sector competitive compared to cattle raising and other land use, uh, which, which are much more destructive from a climatic point of view. The way we do that is that we invest in intermediaries. We invest in companies or NGOs or cooperatives who are aggregating and facilitating these kind of business models. The International Climate Finance Accelerator, or ICFA, has been set up in 2018 by the Luxembourg Ministries of Finance and the Environment and nine financial partners uh, here. Essentially what it does, it, it is an acceleration program for emerging asset managers in climate finance and impact finance. It supports the selected teams with um, what they call a service envelope, which basically is a budget. It gives a working capital uh, line and it provides training and coaching. So basically we've come out of this tree hugger corner into a normal financial market that is uh, supported by mainstream investors. On the other hand, of course, there is a danger that, you know, of greenwashing, that mainstreaming it becomes less strict on the criteria uh, that, that we apply. The objective of a sustainable finance label, such as those awarded by Lux Flag, is to reassure investments that what they're investing in is following responsible investing principles. Sustainable finance is, is on the one hand, ESG, climate finance goals, the sustainable development goals, so looking to create a sustainable society, if you will, from the climate, social, governance perspective. But this is also just about investing in companies that are around for the future. And in terms of an emerging trend, I think it's clear that businesses will be suffering as a result of extreme weather, for instance, the impact of climate change. And that obviously will raise the attention not only of the, the businesses in terms of their bottom line, but it will raise the attention of the shareholders. And I think that will also help move the conversation forward in terms of sustainable finance and why we need to address it and why it needs to be embedded as opposed to just kind of dealt with as a side topic. The Luxembourg Green Exchange is the world's first and still unique platform entirely dedicated to sustainable financial instruments. It began with green bonds and then was extended to social and sustainable bonds and even SRI investment funds. We launched the Green Exchange in 2016 as a response to the Paris Climate Agreement and the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We now have a 50% market share of all green, social and sustainable bonds listed worldwide. LGX gives investors an easy access to data and information and allows them to compare similar products. And more importantly, through reporting, investors can keep track on how issuers make good on their commitments. What I expect to see is that uh, banks and insurance companies will come up with uh, new products that will attract more people. Uh, in fact, there is already a stronger demand uh, by customers for sustainable services and products. Climate crisis and biodiversity loss, it's about resilience, about peace, about security. We have to show the opportunities that investing in a more resilient world will create well-being, will create lots of opportunities also for economic actors. It's about give people hope and that will make us able to live in it. To achieve the goals of climate change is one that it's what people want more and more, the young generation wants it even more than the adults. And you know, the young people are sometimes very idealistic, but uh, in life you need to be idealistic to change things. <laughs>